the video today we are going to i don't really know uh more creative fun stuff because a why not um b i'm bored uh, i'm gonna try and make this contraption Yo, are you good <laughs> Just here. Don't know how wide it needs to be. Wait, what? Really? Is that wide? I don't know if my camera is Wow. Um. So I think I'm gonna make this like item contraption thing that I've seen. You guys might have seen it. Uh, I've just seen it and I thought I might as well try building it because why not? Can't remember how far up it goes. Is that, does that not work? I think it might and then just do that. Wait, what? Oh yeah. Literally be it. So then, if you go, I guess you could put a trapdoor as well to replace it. Uh, and you put it there. Yeah, there you go. It's just an infinite loop. There you go. So then, for example. You just place That's pretty cool. Um, yeah. And then if you do this, we. I think it despawns over time though, so you just have to be careful with that if you like, put special items in it. You would have to get it after like a couple of minutes, I think. But other than that, it's good. Yeah, that's basically how you do it. And um, yeah, just have to make sure that it's pretty simple actually once you get to know of it. Once you get to know it, it's really simple. And if you didn't watch part one of it, uh, this I built this last time to show you guys like hacks that you could do. So that's a pantry. That's a freezer with a secret base where you shift behind it. There you go. So yeah, that's that's a pretty cool one I built. Um, this is a texture pack that I found on Curseforge. I just love. Oh, look at that aim. That aim was just. Uh, that actually could do. No. It 
If you made it like a solid wall at the back, it might look really cool, actually. So that would be cool. Uh, yeah. Ender pearls is cool. Oh yeah, I forgot. Whatever noise you make with the uh, this mod, it also adds it in. So that's kind of annoying. So you'd have to take that off. That's the only bad thing about it. Look, that sounds normal because it replaces the like the throwing noise with uh, the bang noise. So it's kind of annoying. But uh, and the one thing I love about Java is you can literally just add anything to anything you want. So for example, you want to enchant. I don't know. Gra a grass block. You want to enchant this? Go ahead, add sharpness 5 to it. Shut down that envelope, you can only do it in creator mode. And then there you go. Sharpness 5, grass block. This thing's deadly. Like. <laughs> Dead. See? What, okra or chicken? Yeah, okra to chicken. There you go. And then normal grass block. There you go. So it definitely makes a difference, and it actually works. You could put looting three on, like, I don't know, a grass block. So if you want like fire aspects on uh, uh, flint and steel, for example, because that makes sense, you know. You hit someone, probably light them on fire, you know. That makes sense. So just go out and add it, and then look, you hit something. Fire aspect. Fire aspect. And then, bam, fire aspect, bam, bam, and it still works as well, that's pretty cool. Uh, I do like that as well in Java. I do play Pocket, but like, rarely, really rarely play Pocket. Because Java, I just like Java, I just prefer it, it's just better in my opinion. My opinion, I don't want to hear it, thank you. Uh, and yeah, that's kind of just really cool things you can do in Java. And then, I don't know, you probably could do this in Pocket, I think. I don't know. Uh, I'm trying to think what else is cool to do in Java. I mean, if you guys know, that'd be pretty cool. Uh, you can enchant and spawn egg. Uh, wait a minute. Wait a minute. Uh, I just did that. Okay. Um, I think mob spawners only work with light, so you have to add some light in for them to work. Oh, that needs to be water logs. If you guys are excited for the new 1.20 update, I am really excited for it. I can't wait for that update. Because that would just be so cool. Add camels, bamboo blocks. Bamboo becomes more useful when you find those bamboo forests. I just think of it as it would be so much cooler. And then the warden. I think they made the warden too OP, personally. Because if I just get a bedrock cage, bedrock, put him in the bedrock cage, no escapee, he shall not be escaping today. And then I just make everything bedrock, what should we say, three rocks maybe? And then he literally can't get out, he can't get out obviously because he's, he's the warden, but if we then just do that and then make another one, layer it, uh, and then warden, and then if I get, no, 
I don't know iron door. Sure, but um, mm. uh, and then if I go into survival world uh, mode, um, if I go into survival mode, hang on, times it now. I can't spell. And then uh, I go into here. I can go in here. Oh. That didn't work too well. Um well, I need to get him into my tent. There you go. That goes dark, go through bedrock. And then he uses a supersonic. Let me just get to the flat bedrock size. Look. Come on, supersonic me. See? This supersonic can go through bedrock. I just think that's too OP personally. Ow. And it can probably go bed through bedrock and look and Bricks. Probably. Probably. I'm scared. Yeah. So I just find that too OP really. Because and he's got not other than that, he's also got five hundred health. So he's like really good. So, yeah, the warden's OP, but I think it made me make it so, like, you know, is, um, he gets a little debuff, so, you know, in 1.20 he gets debuffs. I don't want him, like, crazy debuffs, like, it's, like, 400 or something. Like, I don't know, the side wither that nobody usually does in, like, I think you get the road they kind of just do the ender dragon. But I don't know how much the ender dragon has, but I know the wither has 300, the warden has 500. I think the ender dragon has... Um, it's either 800 or it's something else. Oh, it might be... No, only 400. Oh, they might be on the on, on, Hang on, let me search this. Like something near me. It might be 600 HP actually. I think it's 600. I'm bored. Uh, yeah. Also, if you want to do this, guys, because it like makes it to kill certain animals e easier. This is the command you type it. Slash kill at E. No space. Type uh, this, whatever this is called. Type equals Minecraft. Uh, uh, dot dot with that the thingy colon or something whatever it's called water and all that and then kills him instantly because it does uh Hermione's joined us today so Hermione wants uh, Hermione wants to say something hi um wow <laughs> I'm here you won't be for long. I just baked something so Wait. Also, I feel like wardens should drop a he their head, maybe, because they just No, because if they, if they drop their head... It takes so long to kill them, but yeah, you don't get anything. Okay, yeah, I agree with you there, Marnie, but I don't think they should drop their head, because that's weird. Maybe they have, like, a horn or something, like a powerful horn. A horn maybe? that does, like, on par with maybe, maybe, like, diamond, on par with diamond, maybe. And it does like something special, maybe it's like you actually know that'd be weird. Maybe like it's just its horn though, and it does something special. I don't know. Just make it seem a little bit more point like have more points. Because otherwise what's the point of killing it? Because if you kill it, you get what, like a skulk thing or something? The only There's point no in point. killing it it's for the monster hunt for... Yeah, exactly. There's no other point in killing it. 
And it's so hard. You could easily die because that thing kills you. I tested it. It kills you. It two shots you in netherite, I think. I think full protection in my three to four shot kill you. I don't know why this one's this spawner isn't working. That's not my problem there. I think it. I'm just going to delete it. Bye bye. Uh, oh, actually, it's a better look at that. Yeah, skylight. Uh, but yeah, I'm confused. I could join you, but by the time I join you, I think this will be it for part two, guys. Because I can't think of anything else to do, unless you know. But, um, I could show you how to, do, how to make a cool flooring, I guess. For like a kitchen. I'll build it in here. Basically, it's really simple. It's just chest styled. A uh, chest style uh, flooring. There. That's simple. Pretty simple. Uh, thing to build. It's nice and easy. It looks. Nice, easy. My name's Jeffrey. My um, name is Barry. I'm Barry. Wow. Well. Where uh, is 1.20 gonna come out? Sometime in 2023, sometime like that. Sometime? Uh, and yeah, I think that's gonna be it. Maybe next part three, if we get, hmm, I'm gonna say. 20 likes? Yeah. I'll say, no, 15, that'd be nice. 15 likes, and I will build or a TNT subscribe. cannon. I'll do some. I'll do some researching. No, 20 likes, and I'll... Like. Actually, let's see. Uh, let's see to the videos. I'm going to say... How many subscribers you No. I'm going to say... I'm going to say... I'm going to say 15 likes... I'm going to say 15 likes and I will build a TNT cannon and I'll just show you tons of redstone stuff in part 3, which I think will be pretty cool. But that involves lots and lots of research, which I don't know if I'm willing to do, but if I get 15 likes on the next, on this video, then I will do it. Just to show support, just so you guys, so you could show support to me, so I know uh, to keep uploading. And I'm not uploading because I'm bored and I'm uploading for you guys, not for me. For you guys. So, uh, that'll be it for today's video. Bye. Oh, actually, make sure to subscribe, hit the like button, and while you're at it, you might as well hit the not notification button. And there we go. Bye.